Looking for some inexpensive ways to get your house ready to sell without breaking the bank? In this video, we'll be looking at five points of interest that'll help you do just that. Welcome back to my seller education series aimed at helping homeowners sell their homes fast and for the best price. Today in part four, we'll be taking a closer look at the preparation step and getting your home ready to sell. In particular, we'll be focusing on inexpensive tasks that most homeowners could undertake. Before we dive in, Let's understand why this preparation step is so essential. When potential buyers step into your home, they want to envision themselves living there. A well-prepared home leaves buyers excited and eager to make an offer. On the other hand, a poorly prepared home can turn them away, resulting in longer days on market and possibly having to settle for a lower price. The first key point is decluttering and depersonalizing your home. At this point, we're talking about larger items and all that stored stuff taking up space. Basements are often a key selling point to buyers who are hoping to use it for additional living space. If yours is full of boxes of stored items, unused furniture, old appliances, and the like, they should be removed to allow buyers to envision how they will use the space for themselves. This could also apply to unfinished areas like bungalow attics that can be turned into a bedroom. And don't forget about the garage. Buyers are often looking for a space large enough for cars, outdoor equipment, and often space for hobbies and side jobs. Large furniture like sectionals and other items that can obstruct the movement of buyers through your home, like ottomans, end tables, and exercise equipment, should be removed to make the house feel larger and more functional. Remove personal items and decor, like trophies, hunting wall mounts, unless it's a hunting cabin, awards, photos of family, and large family portraits. You want potential buyers to see themselves in your house, not you. You'll want them to feel like they're moving through their future home, not your home. The next step is to address any necessary repairs or maintenance. We'll focus on relatively inexpensive options in this video. Fix squeaky doors. You can invest in a small can of household oil and put it on squeaky hinges anywhere in the house. Consider giving the walls a fresh coat of some neutral colored paint. You'd be surprised how often buyers pass on a home, either consciously or subconsciously, because of that ugly color, as they perceive it, in the living room. Touch up any chip paint. This is a small but noticeable improvement can, that can make your home look its best. Chipping paint can make your home look neglected. Before painting, fix any cracks or holes in the walls. This can give your home a more polished and professional look. Small cracks and holes can be easily fixed with spackle and paint and can also create the impression of a neglected home. Fix any leaky or outdated faucets. This is a quick, easy, and relatively inexpensive fix that can make a big difference in the overall appearance of your home. Clean or replace moldy, cracked, or missing caulk in the kitchen or bath. Replace any outdated or broken hardware and fixtures like door and cabinet handles, doorknobs, latches, lamps, and light fixtures. Replace any burnt out light bulbs. This is another quick and easy fix that can make your home look brighter and more inviting. Buyers will be more likely to be impressed with your home if it's well lit and can be left with a very negative impression after walking through a dark, poorly lit home. For our third point, we'll talk about another way of brightening up your house. It will need a thorough deep cleaning. You should clean from top to bottom. Move appliances to get to the dirt, food debris, grease, and other sources of odors you might not notice while you're living in the home. Clean windows inside and out. Wash dusty or stained curtains. Be sure that clean bedding is on the beds. Don't forget to get the carpets cleaned, polish hardwood floors, and clean tile, laminate floors, and other flooring types. Dust all surfaces and items on shelves. Cleaning not your forte? Hire a professional cleaning company. You should be able to get a deep cleaning of your entire house for under $250. For our fourth point, we'll look to some budget-friendly home staging tips. When staging, think about furniture placement. Rearrange pieces to create open pathways that showcase the room's flow and functionality. Set the scene in the dining area. Use simple and modern table settings and a small centerpiece to help buyers envision themselves enjoying meals there. You want to create the feel that there is plenty of space, both in living and storage areas. In the kitchen and bathroom, organize shelves, cabinets, and countertops. Remove most of the daily use items from the countertop and store them in cabinets and in drawers. For a similar effect, remove enough items from closets to create some space between clothes and shelf items. Clutter-free areas with extra space between items suggest ample storage and an efficient living environment. In the living room or family room, consider adding some throws, decorative pillows, or even a strategically placed mirror to create the illusion of space. 
Make sure curtains are open to allow maximum light into the room. Remove window screens to create a brighter and cleaner feel to the room. For our fifth and final point, we'll move on to the exterior with the intent of maximizing curb appeal. This is vital. The outside of your home is the first thing that buyers will see, and it's important to make a lasting impression. Address any landscaping issues or neglect. Keep the lawn manicured, plant some colorful flowers, remove all the weeds, leaves, and dead tree branches from the yard. Consider a fresh coat of paint on the door, a new mailbox or address sign to welcome visitors. The same advice for chipped and cracked paint inside the house applies here too. It will make the house look neglected and is a relatively inexpensive fix that you can address. Power wash the exterior, especially for homes that are not brick. As you can see, you have options for fairly inexpensive ways to prepare your home for sale. By decluttering, making some necessary repairs, applying some simple staging ideas, enhancing curb appeal, and presenting a clean and maintained home, you'll increase your chances of selling quicker and for a higher price. For more information on this and other topics related to selling your home, I've included links to my webpage and other resources in the video description. Thanks for watching and take care.